Hey everyone, get ready for another Halloween makeup tutorial. I am going to show you the rotting zombie. It is so super gross. Make sure you stay tuned until the very end to see the whole makeup being taken off and what process we use to get everything off the skin. Let's get to the video. <laughs> I start off by making the maggots. Use liquid latex, whoops, pour the latex into a disposable bowl. Then I'm using my nail tool to grab the latex and place it onto the cutting board. As I'm making the circles, I want the maggots to be different sizes, so make sure you do big and small circles. Let it sit overnight to dry, or you can use a blow dryer to dry the latex. Make sure that you have your dryer on cool or cool shock mode if you need the maggots to dry faster. I use my fingernail to push the latex, then start rolling the maggots. This was inspired by Monster Tutorial. Grab a brown eyeshadow and start brushing it onto the maggots. Then I use a brown acrylic paint to dip one side of the maggots. Let's get started. I'm doing this look on my video editor, James. He's single ladies and ready to mingle. <laughs> Use a nude pencil to outline where you want your maggot holes and scar. This is the Stella nude pencil. I'm using the Ben Nye scar and nose wax to make the maggot holes. Vaseline to help the wax not stick to my fingers. I'm using a plastic spoon and my nifty nail tools as well to do this look. Apply Vaseline to the hairline so the latex doesn't pull out your hair. Then I clip the hair back. I use latex as glue to hold the wax in place. You can use spirit gum instead of latex. It's up to you. Apply liquid latex and place the wax on top of the latex. Start molding the wax. Whoops, almost forgot to apply Vaseline to his brows. That wouldn't have been good. I grabbed some Vaseline and put it onto the spoon because the wax was sticking to it. Blend the edges with the spoon. I want the wax to be bumpy and not super smooth. This will create dimension. Here's what the wax looks like up close. I use Vaseline to make sure it doesn't stick to my fingers. Make sure you lotion your hands before you start working with the wax. Repeat and cover the areas where you want your holes to be placed. James was seeing how the wax would look like after several face movements and see how it would last throughout the night. Yep, look at his face. <laughs> Scar time. Grab Kleenex, separate the tissue, and tear up the tissue to desired size. Make sure to get rid of the smooth edges. Apply latex to the desired area. Place the tissue on top of the latex. Tap the latex on top of the tissue and repeat up to two to three layers of tissues. Do the same process to the desired areas. Before making the holes, I double check the wax and make sure I like how it looks. I use the end of my makeup brush to make the holes. I dip my brush into the Vaseline to make sure that the wax doesn't stick onto the end of my makeup brush while I'm making the holes. Try to create different size holes. I want smaller holes. I try my nail tools, pencil, then I decided to use my pin. And that worked. A bobby pin probably would have worked too. 
I decided to add a scar and maggot holes to the neck as well. I added latex and tissue to his neck first to make the scar. Make sure you wear clothes you don't care about because the latex would ruin it. Start lifting up the scar on the face. I use my nail tool and fingers to lift up the scar. Make sure not to pull up too much. I pull up some of the wax, but I use my nail tool to push it back down. I recommend doing the scar first next time, then the wax. This is the Ben Nye Nutraset Powder. Apply it to underneath the scar to make sure it doesn't stick back onto the skin or stick together. I'm touching up where the scar lift the wax. I'm using the Ben Nye Cream Color Wheel and Black Cream Products to color in this look. I'm using the Black Cream Product to fill in the holes first. The latex on his neck is dry. I start tearing the latex to make the scar. Add latex, then wax to the scar. I add my pre-made scar piece into the scar to give it more dimension. I will have a link to how to make this scar piece down below. I apply latex and press the scar firmly. Add holes to the wax, then color it in. Color the holes with a dark purple color. Then I use the same purple and color around the edges of the wax and scars. I add tissues to this area to make the skin look bumpy here. While it's drying, I start coloring around the eyes, scars, and the maggot wounds. I add green, dark purple, blue, red, and black. I use the purple color to color his collarbone, and I go in a little bit later with the navy color. You want to go all out for this look. You don't have to make it look perfect. Just have fun and start going wild. Remember, the rotting zombie supposed to look creepy and horrifying. The black on his eyes wasn't dark enough, so I go in with the Essie Lauder charcoal, cream shadow, then I use dark purple, red, and olive shadows to darken the eyes. Keep coloring until you reach the desired look. Use a dark foundation to enhance the look and give it more of a 3D look. I'm using the red cream color to color some of the maggot holes. Then add some more color to the scar and do whatever touch up until you get the look you want. I start adding the maggots to the look. Dip the maggots into the liquid latex and push it into the holes. Randomly add the maggots into the holes. Time to add blood to the look. I start adding blood to the scar. Run blood underneath the eyes, then the maggot holes. Then add blood to the scar. I'm applying the NYX black lipstick onto his lips. Smudge it out. You don't want it to look perfect. Smudge the lipstick outside his lip line. I tap a little bit of olive eyeshadow to his lips. For his hair, I'm using the Big Sexy back comb in a bottle and the Kendra hairspray. Apply the Big Sexy first, start teasing, then add the hairspray. Done and done. Time to take off the makeup. We start peeling off the latex first. Then we use a spoon to scrape off the majority of the wax. Yuck. The wax and the maggots look so gross. Breakfast anyone? We tried the baby oil and the cleanser first, but that didn't work. Next, we tried using the alcohol to take off the wax. It worked. It stung a little bit, but it worked. James was using a towel and alcohol to take off the rest of the wax. 
Wow, that was creepy. I was even grossed out and I did the makeup. <laughs> Do your thing, subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll see you next week for another Halloween makeup tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.